Welcome everyone to David Dudley Outdoors and yes today we're back in the Tackle Dungeon talking to you about topwater baits. We are in the season anytime you get right after the spawn, uh, late spring, all the way through summer and into the fall, topwater baits are going to play a big role in catching a lot of bass. So let's start out with uh, a two hook uh, system bait, topwater bait. This bait is going to be, looks to be four inches long. Uh, when it comes to a bait that is four inches long, this company elected to put a two hook system on it, which I am a little uneasy with. Let's talk, now this is not top water bait, but we're talking hooks versus size of bait. So we all know that the spy bait has been a great fish catching uh, lure here in the last few years. Uh, this is a two hook system. Now we're going to bump it up into a little bit larger of a system. Now you got your whopper plopper style of baits like this, Chapo. You got your top water spin props made by Berkeley. And you have like Evergreen, which is a three hook system. So, what is the advantage of a three hook system versus a two hook system? Here's a two hook uh, system, okay? Now, if you look at this bait, it's definitely fairly large in its uh, appearance. You know, this is probably going on five, five and a half inches long. It's got a two hook system in it. And the problem with a two hook system on a five inch plus bait is that you have a lot of dead zone. And what I mean by a dead zone, look at these two hooks. This is a lot of dead zone between the back of this hook to the actual hook point. This is a lot of dead zone, okay? Dead zone is not, not good. Now again, if you look at a two system hook bait, from this point to the back of the hook is what, is what we're looking at. How much dead space is on a top water bait? So even though this one's fairly small in size, the placement of the hooks is gonna be critical, but you still have dead zone. The dead zone is technically, look how much dead zone is in that. From the tip of this point to the, that's a lot of space that a bass could whoosh, come up and bite and never get hooked. It's a lot of space in between there. Now, when you're talking about small, fairly small pop R bait, you know, popping baits, uh, small in size, they can zero in on that. You're not, you're not looking at much distance between the hooks. These are fairly good hookup ratios. But the modern technology of today has eliminated the dead zone. So it is very critical, even on the smaller baits, to choose something with a three hook system. Now, with this three hook system, yes, we have towards the front, there's quite a bit of dead zone space, but towards the back is where most of the fish come to attack there is very little space between the back of this hook and this point. There is very little space between the back of that point and this. The fish are not coming up and going. Oh, um, if you had two hooks, I would bite you, but because you have three hooks, I'm not gonna bite you. They're, they're not gonna do that. So let's compare the dead zone in between and these are almost fairly even in size. So look at this. So here's the three hook system that we are hanging and there. It's pretty obvious guys that the three hook system is gonna have a lot better hookup ratio than uh, a two hook system. Again, incomparable to size. This one right here is, look at, look at this design of this top board. Now this is actually a weight bait, a two hook size weight bait. From the point to here, that's a long, that's a lot of dead space. And from, he, from the back of the hook to the point of this hook is a lot of dead space. Uh, you got some of the old Sammies that used to gunfish that used to be out. Same thing, two hook system. 
Now let's talk about whopper ploppers. Actually, I did a whopper plopper video to show you guys how to make basically the whopper plopper a much better hookup ratio. I ended up adding a treble hook uh, to the front, but I wanted to show you, and I wish I would have brought one out, but I wanted to show you guys uh, that on a whopper plopper system, I want you to see the, the difference in the space of a, on a whopper plopper. So between the back of the hook to here, that's a long given space. And especially when this blade is turning, Okay, granted, it can stop at any moment. So if his mouth come up here, this blade is going to stop. It's not going to interfere with it, but it, it's definitely going to be called, uh, taking up void in between these hooks, uh, as you can see there. Now, if the fish was to come up and bite it, instantly it's going to stop. Does it stop them from uh, taking in the whopper plopper on itself? No, not really. But the, the, the thing about a whopper plopper is you see the uh, see this cone uh, like the, the the design of this bait? See how it's forward facing? Actually, the water line is not it, the water line runs about right here. Okay, so you got like an inch and a half that is typically out of the water anyways. So it's really not in their their eyesight much. So all they're focusing on is from here to there. So. Uh, whopper plopper on some you got smaller whopper ploppers like this uh, this is actually a chopo uh, and it, guys it, it you know when it comes to hooks typically companies are going to put a smaller hook than is desired on a bait just to save money but as you can see on this chopo it's these come stock with a little bit of standard i love this bait uh, does very good just con this blade back here constantly turns and uh, these hooks are being, being changed out with a size three, okay? Uh, here's a compact, here's a compact treble hook uh, system made by Berkeley. Uh, Berkeley doesn't sponsor me, but this is called the Hijacker. But look at the hook system on this one. I just got this one this year. I haven't thrown it, but as far as hooks swinging around them, and I do want to mention this, is that when the more hooks that you have, the better chance. So if he swipes at it and this middle hook catches him, okay? Say this middle hook catches him. Well, when it catches him and he's jumping, you got two more hooks swinging around his face and it's gonna be <laughs> So now you got three hooks uh, that are embedded in him versus say a two hook system like you see here. Uh, typically the smaller pop R's are gonna uh, do very well. These these have a short base from here to here, so it's a very good hookup ratio. Uh, guys, I, I think you're getting the point, okay? You're getting the point, two hooks versus three hooks. Be cautious when you buy topwater baits. Look at the size of the bait that they're actually on, uh, you know, that they're actually, that you're actually buying. Make sure most of that bait is covered. I'm a big fan of three hook uh, topwater baits. Uh, we've come a long way. Again, big size hooks does not matter as much as number of hooks when it comes to topwater baits. If we could put a three hook system in a crankbait, I would probably go for that. But guys, I appreciate you guys subscribing, liking, and commenting. If you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, share this video and I am out. <laughs>